update on Typhoon Mankut, Philippine name Ompong, a super typhoon with winds of 165 miles per hour and a pressure by our estimate of 901. The storm is currently undergoing some sort of eye wall upheaval at this time and our placement cycle could be upon the storm's mind right now. Uh, the wind field has shrunk as a result a little bit and it's gone down to a stage 8. Still catastrophic damage potential on this one though and the storm is rightfully triggering lots of lots of warnings in the Philippines 453 miles from Virac 534 from Diet 641 from Santa Ana which were still eyeing up for the potential worst place to be impacted by the storm although it still moves slightly south of forecast so a signal one warning in effect for most of eastern Luzon and northern Samar. We couldn't list all of the locations on here, but you can see quite clearly by the map which areas have been designated, uh, extending all the way down the eastern coast of Luzon. So over the next few days, so the models showing the GFS in particular, the storm moving off towards the west-northwest, this is what we're looking at right now, and the storm making landfall on Saturday morning by the looks of things, but it may be as soon as Friday night. I think that's what we're still eyeing up for the landfall time to be specific. Friday night for the storm to be reaching the islands. Saturday morning it may still be around into the afternoon quite possibly as well as it moves out into the South China Sea. It will eventually end up going somewhere towards China, probably west of Hong Kong and Macau. Sea surface temperatures remain very warm all the way up until its potential landfall around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. The storm has not had any issues with sea surface temperatures for sure. And here is the forecast again looking at the wind field staying very large and it already has a very large wind field and you see the landfall on Saturday or on Friday night. We're not quite sure yet, maybe early hours of Saturday local time. Um, and then into Sunday, moving out into the South China Sea and then towards the southern coast of China, possibly towards Hainan. So uh, the storm could make landfall as a strong Category 4 or as maybe even a Category 5 intensity by the time it strikes Luzon, joining company of about maybe six or seven other typhoons that did so. We'll see. 42% chance of tropical storm force winds at Basco, 93% at Santa Ana and at Apari. Those are the two areas we're most concerned about right now and anywhere else along that northern tip of Luzon. Manila still at 10%, Hong Kong down to 46 Ignore the HWRF in the blue line there because it's malfunctioning something rotten right now. And you can see the other models there, uh, the CTCX interestingly has the storm still not at its peak just yet. Could be more strengthening later on. The 15th has wind shear going down, but I think that coincides with the landfall, so that won't help the storm very much. I think the storm has probably peaked, but the storm could possibly gain some more intensity in its pressure because it's just lingering and growing quite possibly. It depends what happens with this eyewall replacement cycle that the storm is currently going through right now. You can see quite clearly its eye is still looking very good, not quite as strong as it was earlier. You can see there in those latest frames the eye just wobbling a little bit, becoming slightly ragged uh, in those latest frames. And the uh, convection around the eye wall um, waning a little bit. That's because it's trying to give way to a, a new eye wall that's trying to form around it as this replacement cycle begins and continues. But for the Philippines, all that matters is that the storm is on its way and it's going to pack quite a punch. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. And Force13's live coverage continues on its live feed. You can check that out with the latest information at youtube.com forward slash force13 forward slash live.